One extra breakfast with Nadia J. All right, we have been bantering off air, but today we honour a trailblazer, a national treasure, someone that I honestly put your name in the group chat and my aunties and my uncles and my sister and everyone was like, oh my gosh, they're so excited to have you here as a we. We're talking two Academy Award wins. We're talking three gold, Golden Globes, a Tony Award, not to mention Denzel. I mean, how... Is it tiring to be so that guy that everyone just, for decades, you've been someone that's almost like a sex symbol? Like, are you not tired? I'm not that guy. No. I'm an ordinary guy with an extraordinary job. Okay. I don't look at it the other way around. It's not like I walk around and like, oh, yes, I mean, just it's talk me. about me, please. <laughs> yes, and, no, and nobody's in the room. Fair, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Guys, I mean, I've already said his name. It's a spoiler. But can we make some noise for Denzel Washington? <laughs> How, so humble as well. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. Amazing. All right. We're going to talk about this fantastic film. Yeah. We're also going to talk about you, your legacy. We're going to try and play some music that represents you. Um, I think I'll start with, we watched Gladiator yesterday. So we had a Gladiator 2, we watched it. And yeah. um, I mean, Denzel, you are a main character. Um, I could not stop watching you. You're so like, I, I feel like the storyline, I was so like, in, I wanted to know everything about you and your mm. character. So I want to know, because you're super particular about what roles you take. I'm not super particular. No. In this case, it was, it, well, yes, I say yes, I say no more than I say yes, but in, in this case, it's Ridley Scott, and he called, and I said yes. I said, you know, we had great success together with uh, uh, American Gangster, and um, he called me up, told me what he was doing, and gave me the idea of what he wanted me to do, and I said yes. Yeah, so you hadn't seen the script, obviously... You- I really don't rem- I, I I don't think I read it before he called, but I'm not sure. To okay, be honest with you. you must be at that stage where it's like you're not reading scripts and auditioning, right? <laughs> it's been about forty years for that, love. <laughs> about forty years. Yeah, I haven't I haven't auditioned for a movie in. Ford, Ford. I don't know if it's forty exactly. I won an Academy Award. In 1989. How many years ago was that? So that would be 35. I'm sure nobody asked me to audition after that. That's crazy. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Uh I I I mean, do you miss that? Auditioning? Yeah. No. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Wowza. Okay. um, I want to continue and talk about you getting into movies because. The stories about you, and you know, I've watched interviews of you, and you talk about the fact that even in your household, you come from a very Christian household, mm-hmm. and movies wasn't even something you would be watching regularly, right? No, no. King of Kings, Ten Commandments, Crazy. Wizard of Oz. That's it. That's about it. So, what made you want to be an actor? Because you know, nothing no, what yeah. made me want to be an actor. Uh, I was studying uh, 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 to be a pre-med, doctor. Right? A doc- yeah, that wasn't that lasted about a week. <laughs> I was like, I, maybe I was an actor then. I, maybe I was you were acting act as a doctor. Like a doctor. But acting sort of chose me. I um, I used to do a lot of work with uh, children. So I was working at a, a, a YMCA camp, and we put on a little skit the counselors did for the kids. And I got up there, and it's I remember this guy, Miles Joyce, when I came off the stage. And, and I had already flunked out of college. Let me preface Great. it with that. Okay. So I tried everything else. And he said, man, you, 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 that was like, you ever thought about like being an actor? I was like, no. Nah. He said, you should think about it. So within the university, Fordham University, I transferred down to the Lincoln Center campus. They had the theater program. And I, I did a musical, found out I couldn't sing. Amazing. I've done that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? That's quite disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> but the girls were in the musical, so I was like, mm, man. Mm. Was, Do you remember what musical it was? Uh, no, it was, it was a combination. It was, it was terrible. Like a medley? Yeah, of, of songs of I forgot who, but I, I couldn't see any. <laughs> I forgot who it was. It, it was a, it was a, Carl Sandburg. It was like okay. based on Carl Sandburg. Awful. Okay, and I was awful in it. It was <laughs> awful. Well, at least you knew your limitations. So you college, you were like, nah, this ain't for me. Yeah. I don't want to be a doc. I can't be a doctor. Can't sing. Acting chose you, like you said. The 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 the, the head of the theater department uh, at Fordham always wanted to do the Emperor Jones and he wanted to do Othello and but he didn't have the actors. So the second after the musical, the first role I played was Eugene O'Neill's The Emperor Jones. I played the lead in a in a in a college production. And then the second role I played was Othello at like twenty years old and people were like, Man, you really have a gift and I'm mm-hmm. like, Oh, I think I've I found it. Found it. I love mm-hmm. that it found you. Um are there any roles that you 
would like to play that you never have? Uh, I'm revisiting Othello 50 years later. Amazing. Uh, in, in January, I start there. You said roles that I, what? You said that, that you I, haven't played before. Because I'll be it, honest, I've watched Marvel and DC and I'm like, Denzel should have just been a character uh, with a cape. You and cape seem to look quite great. Uh, I don't want to, I've been, <laughs> I shouldn't say, but I've been talking Ooh. to someone who has made uh, one of those. <gasps> I'm onto something, and, uh, and he's and he's uh, he he looks like me in color, mm-hmm. and uh, that's all I'll say. Okay, that's good enough you for me. It out. I will actually, because um, and I'm talking about Gladiator Two again. I think one of the most amazing things about the film is that, honestly, seeing you like kick ass in a cape was like I, <laughs> in, I was a in a dress, in a dress with lots of capes. I can barely like I'm out of breath watching you. To be honest with you, I'm not that old but I just I, the stamina is just not there Denzel so I wanted to know what are you doing to keep in shape I was at the Academy Awards I think it was three years ago two years ago whatever it was for the last 22 months I've been training with a guy named Dodd Romero uh, who trained Lenny Kravitz he's got Lenny looking like Lenny mm. we got J-Lo he trains J- Jennifer Lopez and he makes all my meals, and uh, I've lost about 75 pounds wow. over the 22 months, but I put on, or he says I put on about 15 pounds, whatever it is, pounds of muscle. And it's just lifestyle. I mean, I don't drink or smoke anyway. So, you know, but haagen ice cream was a close friend of mine. Mm-hmm. You know, that Did was you have my, to get rid? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, you know, moderation is the key. I won't say never, but, you know. I'm liking the results. Right, so um, something you wanted to tell us, Denzel, that some people might not know about, your son's um, relationship with Kendrick Lamar, you were just saying about the video. Oh, Malcolm mm-hmm. uh, has directed his brother, John David, uh, in uh, August Wilson's The Piano Lesson. And uh, you got to see it. It's, it's really, really, really good. And in fact, it's, it's, uh, my, my other daughter, Katya, was one of the producers. So, you know, just yeah, you family flex. Family. You family flex on us, That's all right? Correct. Big up That's the Washington. Correct. I want to talk about the time that you got offered Brad, Pitt, Brad Pitt's role in Seven. You turned it down, right? Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Do Stupid you remember? Of me, wasn't it? Well, actually, I was going to say because there is discernment when it comes to being in the industry, and mm. I think you being of Christian faith, mm. and um, I have turned down jobs too that felt a bit mm-hmm. sideways mm-hmm. or, you know, looked at Instagram pages and things and thought, this isn't a bit of me. My son also models and actually he turned down a job the other day and he was like, looks a bit demonic. I don't want to do that. Mm. So what would you say about being Christian, having your faith and trying to kind of work that around this industry? Where he leads me, I will follow. And sometimes it's in the valley, you know, like this role, the wages of sin is death. Mm-hmm. There's no point in worrying about or thinking that it doesn't exist. You know, uh, it's interesting that a role like this is celebrated. You know, we're at the doorstep. You know, pick a side. Mm -hmm. I know where I am Mm -hmm. and I know where I'm going. So I'm not worrying about what I'm doing. I know who leads me and I know and I listen to who leads me. I was uh, on a yacht. You're a Christian woman, right? Mm -hmm. On a boat. Listening to music praying and there was a song on called the face of God. And I said, Lord, in my prayer, I said, Lord, you know, everybody's singing about the face of God. They can see your face. And I want to see your face. And while I was saying, I want to see your face, I heard turn to your left. I turned to my left. I picked up my phone and I went, I didn't turn to my left and look around. I just heard turn to your left. What was the picture? Oh, my, Sorry, guys, for those that you can't see, it is literally a blue sky and it looks like wings. Well, and, look, and the take, face. Take, it looks like a nose. There's a to nose. Me. And, it was and, her eyes. Hang on. And he's smiling. Oh, my. That is a. There's a nose, there's lips, and there's. Is he wearing shades? Uh, well, he's good wearing the shades. The Bible says we will see like through a mirror darkly, but then face to face. So now. It says we will see like through a mirror darkly, but then face to face. Now, what you don't realize looking at that is that it seemed to be about a mile wide. Yeah, because this it is was massive. Huge. You can see the edge of the boat. You see the rail of the boat. Yeah, I'm on. on the co- oh, okay, that's massive. Yeah. So 
Some wow. people say, oh, it's just some clouds. No, 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 no. My point being, while I was asking, wow, that's what I heard. While I was asking, I said, Lord, I want to turn to your left. I went. I, I love, first of all, I love that you had your phone. <laughs> Second of all, I love that. That, that, that. that looks like shades and a smirk to me. And a nose. And a nose. Like, and I always say this about, about when I'm praying or if I'm having every con- conversations with God, that God's got banter. Like, I say he's got bants for days. Like, I will be having a giggle and my son will be like, what are you doing, my blood? Oh, no, God's got bants. He's got bants. Thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. Wow, what a picture. Um, okay, I want to talk to you about your role as, you're like a big brother and a father figure uh, outside of your family, obviously. Um, and, you know, there was a, a story that I'd read about what you'd done for Chadwick Boseman and, you know, that he couldn't afford to attend um, academy school. Mm -hmm. And you are so important. You know, we've seen that. We've seen you, you know, in in that moment with with Will Smith and you go to talk to him. What? How important is that for you? And did you have that when you started? I love helping people. Nothing I love more. You know, I, 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 I love helping people. I've always been that way. You know, the first part of your life, you learn. The second part, you earn. Mm. Sorry, where's that part? Is it the third 30? part? You 40? return. Okay. You know, you give back. You okay. know, and you return or <laughs> up, up or down, or, or but you, you return. return. So you're all still in the learning and slash when's earning. When's the earning start, man? <laughs> yeah, see, that means you're still in the learning. No, I'm in the And today's the a earning. good day to learn a few things. Mm-hmm. But you already know those things, like to stay humble. You know, and to 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 honor and love your parents. Try to leave the world better than you found it. Mm. it. The movies are the least of what I do. It's not that important to me. I'll show you something else. When I was about to, but no, I had flunked out of college and I was in my mother's beauty shop, beauty parlor, mm-hmm. and a woman was looking in the mirror Every time I looked up, she was looking at me, uh-huh. and she said, "Miss Washington, give me a, give me a, give me a pen and a piece of paper." She said, "Boy," she said, "She's having a prophecy." She said, "Boy, you're going to travel the world and preach to millions of people." If you see this, it says 28, 1975. I've had that. I took a picture of it. It was, a, it was an envelope. My mother wrote it on, yeah. and I kept the envelope, and it got so raggedy, I just took a picture of it. And Miss Ruth, is that her name? Her name was Miss Ru- Ruth Green. So she said, you're going to travel the world and preach to millions of people. And I'm thinking, like, oh, I flunked out of college, you know. How am I going to yeah, do Yeah, yeah. Am, am, am I even going to get back in college? 1975? Yeah. So when, wow. my, when, my, when the woman left... I asked my mother, I said, Ma, who is that? She, she said, it's Miss Ruth Green. She's one of the oldest members of the church in town, and she's known to have the gift of prophecy. And I remember thinking, I wonder if she can prophesy about me getting back in school. Yeah. She didn't say anything about being famous or becoming an actor or any of that. That was March 27th. That summer, I started acting. Wow. That fall. And, well, the rest is history, but that's not what I was put here to do. What we've been talking about is what I've been put here to do. That was the platform, which she prophesied. Now, someone can say, oh, that's just a coincidence. That's a coincidence. What I saw in the sky is a coincidence. Nah. Where I am in life is a coincidence. And I'm not talking about the fame because that's not important to me, you know. People have heard me say you'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. You can't take it with you. But, young people, you can leave it here. Thank your you Your gifts, so your knowledge, your example. You know, you guys have a great opportunity. Young, beautiful, healthy, strong. <laughs> no, not you. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, you know, you work, work with him. Work Wait, with him. He's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a work of progress. We all are. Oh, my gosh. Make some noise for Denzel yes. Washington. Why? Breakfast with Nadia J.